Guess what we got here for you guys today? We got the all new 2019 BMW 3 Series. Let's roll the clip. Welcome back everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the cinematic video for the 2019 BMW 330i. And it is so windy today and I cannot wait for summer to get here in Canada. I mean, looking at the all new 3 Series, everything just looks more sharper and brought out to life, right? Especially how angular and how much curvature and how much aggressive sculpted lines there are. I mean, looking at the front, the nose definitely has the running and straight downwards, which is a lot different than the previous generation, right? Painted in black with the active grill shutter right behind it. Now the headlights, there is an optional laser headlight available for the 3 Series. And unfortunately, the trim we're looking at today does not have the laser headlight. The headlights are all done in LED and the fog lights are LED as well. What do you guys think about the meshes in the front over here in the center and on the side as well? Pretty BMW-like, but uh, for me, meshes are more more or less a personal preference so you guys let me know how you feel about the all new mesh in the front bumper looking at the profile you find yourself a set of m wheel 19 inch by color which is two-toned alloy wheels um what do you guys think 10 spoke as well i do personally like that if the caliper is right behind it it's painted in a different color or they have a big m caliper it'll brought out the wheel design just that much more sharper right now of course you can find that in the m340 which will be here later in april in the canadian market and looking at the rear side of the vehicle the most distinctive feature are the rear tail lights that offers a three dimension view to it if you run your hand downwards you notice it grooves out to another bubbly shape which again creates a three-dimensional view to the rear tail it's pretty cool and very unique design to it as well and of course last but not least this car is equipped with hands-free power liftgate a feature that is widely used in suvs over to the minivans and it is finally here on the sedan so you don't have to get yourself the 7 series or the Lincoln continental to enjoy this feature and i love this feature a lot guys i really do it just makes everything just that much more convenient and looking at the trunk the space wise is pretty much the same as a previous generation however it is wider and lengthier overall by about i would say 10 centimeters versus the previous uh, generation now for the rear bumper what i don't like are these fake vents over here that just for display purposes or design purposes only, right? If they were to offer some kind of aerodynamic or functional design, I think that would be pretty cool, right? And last thing on the exterior, the mirrors fold automatically whenever you lock the doors, right? Look at that. But what's really cool about the 3 Series as well is how they offer the same key as the all new X5. Additional luxury design for the 3 Series. So if you've ever been inside the all-new X5, the all-new 3 Series, just a lot of similarities with it, especially how big the screen is. Everything inside looks so futuristic and I'm so excited about this vehicle. I mean, looking at my left-hand side, you have your power options, you have your memory seats. What's cool about these buttons is that they're more or less gravitated or angled towards the driver, right? And this car is saturated with leather with a cognac leather color, pretty cool, I like that a lot. And the steering wheel is, is wrapped in leather with a heated steering function right beneath the airbag. And the center where the airbag is, is also done in leather. So a lot of luxury brownie points in the all new 3 Series. And one of the most 
key feature that you notice when you drive the Audi 3 Series is how heavy the steering wheel is, right? A lot heavier than the previous generation, kind of very nostalgic for the old BMW, heavy steering, high speed, fully controlled, right? But I did notice the comfort or the whole overall comfort is a little bit stiff. So I do see this is more gravitated towards the younger generation versus, you know, the five or the seven is more comfort oriented with performance ability as well. But comfort is the highest orientation, in my opinion, for the five and the seven. I mean, the rest of the panels are all soft touch, but I don't understand right here where my knee is, it's all done in this kind of plastic component, right? So I'm going to be resting my knee against this. So I do hope that there are options to change this in a, more of a leather or soft panel. So, you know, it gives my knee an easier time. And looking up ahead, you have your black cloth headliners with the sunroof, right? So I don't know if we can get this in Alcantara, but if you do, oh, that would make this car just that much more luxurious and kick everyone else's asses. And looking at the center console over here, it's very flat. So I feel like the reach is gonna be very easy and comfort is definitely in mind whenever they design it, right? And over here, you have your transmission gear selector. And if you're familiar with the M850, it's kind of like a Swarovski crystal ball transmission gear selector, very cool and luxurious. And I really, really, really am a big fan of the new design. Right? So I don't like it when manufacturers go with the push button transmission gear selector or the scroll. And pop open this panel over here, which is kind of like a, a kind of a unique design to it. What do you guys think about or how you guys feel about this grayish patterned uh, console? But pop open the console over here is where you find your wireless charging pad. And I'm just so, so impressed with the BMW technology because as soon as you put your phone down, it is charging right away. So the technology is insanely fast. And with any 3 Series, you do have your own personal BMW digital key, which means that you can store that in your wallet and you can tap your wallet onto the door handle and the car will open for you. But if you lose it, you're shit out of luck and someone else will drive away very happily with your brand new 3 Series. And looking at the climate control section, I love this aluminum panel over here with some of the buttons down in like an aluminum metal-ish as well. I do wish, however, they will extend this kind of design all the way for all the buttons, which will make this car just that much more luxurious, right? And here's my favorite part, is the infotainment system very X5-like, and if you guys are familiar with the X5, you know how great this whole overall system is, right? Looking at the navigation, the saturation, sharpness, and the whole overall resolution, to me, it's like more than 4K. Pop that open in reverse camera, you have your backup assistant and automatic parking, right? Of course, the line turn as well. But what's really cool when they turn the line is this icon over here in the center kind of shows you where the vehicle will be as the whole vehicle. So I like that and it makes me more aware or more in tune with my 3 Series. And last but not least, transferring over to the all new dash, digital display, flat, oh, so nice and so easy on the eyes. The same great saturation, color and resolution is all translated in front of you as well. I love how the gauges are in, in a more of like a U, U shape and when you change to the different mode, especially the Eco Pro, it lights up as blue, very ambient like, and I just, I'm just so in love with this kind of technology because it's so futuristic. Because this car got a little bit longer, you do have a, just a little bit more leg space in the rear seat, and it is equipped with rear heated seats. Perfect option for those cold Canadian weather, but look at how elevated the center console is, guys, right? So if you're gonna fit three adults in the back, good luck with that, it's not gonna happen. And uh, you really have to put your leg on the side if you want to sit in the middle. The rear is actually not too bad as well for the comfort, um, not too, too stiff versus the front. And open up over, over here, you have two additional cup holders and you have one on each side where your uh, rear passenger door is. So here's how my five things I look for whenever I indicate this, this car really cares about the luxury brand or the representation, right? Number one is the headliners. If it's black to me, brownie points. Number two is their attention to details with these buttons and what material they use. Number three is the steering wheel and how it fits onto your hand. 
Do I want to put both hands on it? Do I want to drive like a freaking gangster? Or do I just want to drive with my, with my knee, right? So, and number four, it's whenever I buckle up and see if the seatbelt will pull back uh, when I drive or on departure, right? So that kind of feeling to me offers a very luxurious and safety in mind as well. And last but not least, the fifth thing I look for is the interior sound proofing, right? How big is the noise or how loud is the noise in comparison versus the outside noise with the tire and all that, which we will experience in just a moment. So we're currently driving on the 404 North going towards Richmond Hill-ish area. I just punched the car and we have a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine give you 255 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. And those numbers are actually quite, quite exciting because there's so much more torque versus the horsepower and delivers quite a bit of a punch, right? And we're pairing that to the eight speed automatic transmission. And if you slap it on manual, there's actually very minimum rev hang whenever you switch gears, right? So the transmission, I don't know what you're doing right now, even with the X2 M35, it's very, very seamless and smooth. And right in front of me, like I, like I explained before, the digital display is absolutely beautiful. And what's unique about the digital display for the 3 Series is that the horsepower and the torque is right beside the uh, tachometers. They're very cool to look at. And so you know exactly what the power distribution is whenever you put your foot down on the throttle, right? So with the X2 M35, the horsepower and the torque is usually found on the screen right here. So you do have to turn your head a little bit to know exactly what's going on or what the numbers are or, the, or what, the, what the metrics are, right? So this kind of display, very nice, good information. And I like the red theme as well, making the car a little bit more sporty. I'm gonna kick it back to comfort. As everything responds just that much more comfortable and the rev limiter goes back and dials down a little bit as well, right? And I kick that into the Eco Pro and bam, everything switches to blue. So pretty cool, very futuristic. And once again, the graphic and the saturation and the whole overall iconic display, uh, whoever designed it does, should deserve a great, great job. It's just so nice and so easy onto your eyes, right? I'm gonna let my hand off of the steering wheel to see if it corrects my driving a little bit and see how semi-autonomous this car is start drifting towards the right. Look at that, it corrects pretty aggressively, but it works and it makes me a little bit scared that it waits until the last second to correct the steering. We're slowly drifting towards the line over here, but overall it's pretty good. And this is how Simon Autonomous BMW has made his three series. And now look at that, it's asking me to keep in lane. So. I do wish before the car starts drifting off to another lane, the correction of the steering wheel will be, should be a little bit more responsive, especially if you have another car on the right side next to you, you don't want to hit that, right? Uh, as soon as you put this car in drive and you give a little bit of uh, you know acceleration, the seatbelts do pull you back. So that definitely wins another brownie points for me. I mean, whether it pulls you back as soon as you put it on or it pulls you back when you're in drive, I think as long as you do that, that wins in my, uh, in my books. And this whole satellite navigation system is pretty impressive because it'll tell you how long you will take to reach your destination and you will know an additional delay time by you know five, six minutes due to traffic or whatever is happening onto the road. I think other than the exhaust noise, which I'm putting this on sport mode, the whole overall cabin noise in, in relation to my outside environment with the tire noise is pretty minimal. So that I am pretty impressed with the all new 3 Series. So I can listen to my music crystal clear, have a conversation or do whatever business I wanna do if I do require, uh, I guess, minimal decibels on the interior. And I just love how this car picks up speed really quickly and pretty effortlessly. Oh my God. Scarborough drivers or Markham drivers. So if you know that, you're always alert if you're driving in Markham or Scarborough. I'm not gonna name any ethnicity because we all have done it and uh, it kind of scares me how people just don't pay attention on the road. I just don't know why. Oh. And this real road tracks over here. Yup, I feel every single uh, groove on my butt. So suspension-wise could be, could be improved, but it's definitely not a class for you to enjoy comfort in. So before we took this car on the road and started driving this vehicle, we we're filming everything more or less into the shade. And now we're more exposed to the sun and this center part over here, 
uh, more, more or less as the carbon fiber layout. I thought it was pretty cool. And as soon as the sun hits it, it brings a lot of reflection onto my eyes and I am actually blinded by this panel over here. So it's pretty reflexive on the sun. And now I kind of wish that it is more of a matte material. I don't know. I thought it was cool, but until I put it into the road and when, or when the sun hits, it's, uh, it's blinding me, especially I have small eyes. And as you can see outside of us, we're on DVP and we are in stop and go traffic. And this car is equipped with one of my favorite features, founding cars in 2019. This car has auto hold, which means that every time you're in a stop and go scenario and you apply your brake for more than a second, this car will automatically apply the brake pressure for you so you don't have to keep your foot onto the brake, alleviating some driving discomfort. And ugh, I just can't believe, why is there traffic on Saturday on DVP? You know what, I take that back. There's traffic consistently Monday to Friday, Monday to, Sa Monday to Sunday on the DVP. And look at that, you just wanna cut in front of me whenever he wants. Yeah, Toronto drivers are pretty savage. Markham Scarborough drivers are pretty scary because they don't really care about you. They just go whenever they feel like it. And for me, I'm the absolute perfect driver that you can ever find on the road. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the review and the cinematic we did for the 2019 BMW 330i. And I wanna give a quick thank you to Parkview BMW for letting us experience this vehicle as soon as they landed here in Canada. As always, leave it in the comment section below if there's anything I missed that you guys may like in the all new 3 Series. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let us get to 10,000 subscribers. And as always, my name is Ron Z and I will see you guys on a brand new episode of Coast Start next Saturday. See ya.